Um, okay, in home parties, my favorite. Why? I have never personally had a party in home under $900. And that's with three people there. So wow. believe me, if you're walking in and you're like, no one's showing, go anyway. Don't let the hostess cancel because I'm telling you, you're gonna get some money from that party. So um, what I do, um, I bring personal products. So I know it's not, I, you and I talk about this all the time, but you don't try to take, you don't buy a huge bulk of products just to go in with. Um, I'll try to have like whatever I can afford. Um, mascaras on hand, uh, lip glosses. Liners. Liners, things that I think that they'll buy fast, but then until they get their collection or whatever they're gonna buy. But don't break yourself just for this party because I've walked into parties where I had no, nothing at all, not even a mascara, and I've had huge parties. So that's um, what I would suggest that you bring. Then when I walk in, I always try to go a little earlier because I want to get, I don't know these people, so I kind of want to make them my girlfriends. I want to hang out with them, get them comfortable with me so that they kind of get that emotional connection and then want to buy from me because they know I have three kids and they want to help me out. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I do that. And then I always go into parties, like you said earlier, one eye done, one eye not. If you're brave, have a face done. But um, I've never been one brow. Yes. <laughs> You'll never be brave enough brow. for that. <laughs> yeah, that's what me and Julia said. And then, um, so I'll go in and I set up everything. So I'll just get ask for like a side table. Um, I put my own personal products out, and I just kind of sit them on the table. And then I set up clipboards with a catalog and a piece of paper. You don't have to buy anything fancy. I know people go all out, but just a clipboard, piece of paper, and a pen so they can make a wish list as you're going through. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Some of you have already done this because I personally read you on Facebook. Um, okay, so there's like three, there's a few ways you can run your party. You, If you're confident enough, because I know some people don't want to go in and do a makeover on someone because they can't even do their own makeup. So I'm basic, but anyway, I'm not doing someone's brows. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'll go in and I'll ask, you know, I'll ask the hostess, like, either do they want the makeover, does someone else, or if it's a large party, because I've had a party of 30 women. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That was like over $3,000. But um, if it's a large party, I'll walk in, I'll have my table set up, and they already know what they're coming for, and there was already a nice food spread. So they go get their food and then they come over to me and then we'll talk about what's on their table, on the table, uh, what kind of skin they have, stuff like that. And then they make a wish list and right there, we order from their phone off the port party link so that I can help them walk through all that. It is time consuming, especially when there's 30 people, but we made it work. We were there until like- It's worth it. That night. Yeah. Um, that was a great- Hashtag great worth it. Yeah, hashtag worth <laughs> it. Um, or like I said, you can sit down and do Something quick and easy, even if you just want to do like uh, eyes on the hostess because you don't feel confident, or you might not have colors because in my area I don't have all the colors. But anyway, that's a whole other story. <laughs> so I'll just do eyes on the girls, um, and I'll, t I'll talk about what I'm using. So I always upsell the brushes, and I might do a quick smoky eye or something like that, and I really use, like I'll say about the primer, and just talk about what I'm putting on them. However, if I do not do a face, I then talk about what my five favorite products are. Like, what am I using on my face every single day and why? Um, then throughout the party, I do a game. So I have raffle tickets. And this gets your people, like, really intrigued because I'll say, I'll give them a raffle ticket for every question. So then they're, like, getting, like, you know, comp competitive and they want to be the one with the most raffle tickets. So I'll hand out raffle tickets constantly. And there was a kid at the last one, so she was handing them out, actually. But, um, and then I'll do a, a little door prize, whatever you can afford. Even if it's, even if you don't have anything, $10 off or something like that on your next order or that order. I'm trying to think what else we got going on here. And then at the end, um, I do ask if there's anyone who wants to host a party. If three people host a party, then I'll give the uh, hostess something free and they want to help their friend out. They don't, like, I get a better response with that. Okay, and then I do, just like on an online party, I do prep my host. Um, I'll have them reach out to them a couple days before, so so it looks like, I don't know how to explain it, like they're, they're like excited, they get excited, they're like, oh, I can't wait to see you at my party. Um, and they kind of upsell me, like, I really respect this girl, like, uh, she 
you know, whatever my strong suits are, they say, I don't even know, I never even ask them exactly what they say, but it gets people there. Um, let's see what else. And then the only other thing I do is I do try, I said I do have mascaras, but I do try to have enough mascaras on hand for every single person that RSVP. Like if there's 15 girls, I'm, I contacted her one time because I needed five more mascaras. I make sure I have enough because I'm telling you that you, you will sell out of the mascaras. So, and that's a quick sell because they want products now. And that's all I got for you. Oh, go ahead. I, I've done 